What is up, my YouTube friends? What do you got there, Jerry? It's a coffee table, you knucklehead. It's a coffee table. What are you doing with it, Jerry? We are going to turn this into an end scale layout. Who's we? Rick Bailey. That's who he is. Last night, Rick stopped by the shop, brought this beautiful table with him. And uh, we, after a little while of brainstorming, uh, two hours to be exact, uh, we came up with some ideas. And originally, we were going to leave this shelf, build a drawer system here, and then build the layout on top of that. Uh, then after talking and thinking, we decided to get rid of this shelf, uh, build a, another shelf to get rid of this dog bone, really is the only reason why. And uh, we're going to use uh, half inch faulty birch and put a rectangular piece and it'll be all squared up. None of this will be here and none of these cut out, so, because we don't need them. Well, Rick doesn't need them, not we. And we're going to put one big drawer under here. The drawer... We have four and a half inches here, and uh, the drawer can be like maybe three inches tall. You know, it doesn't have to be very deep because uh, in depth, not in depth that way, in tall, okay? Because um, he's just going to put things for the railroad in here, and probably jewel cases from the cars and what it so basically what we're going to do is since Rick is going to use some tortoises or some automatic switch machines we're going to build something kind of like my layout a frame that will come in here and sit on this shelf that we build here. It'll sit on the shelf, it'll either go get attached to drawer slides so it slides out, or it'll be free free on the shelf and like my layout, I take it from its location, bring it down here on my workbench and work on it. Rick will be able to do the same, slide the whole entire thing out and put it anywhere and work on it and not have to work on it four inches from the ground. Uh, ba -ba 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 finish. We decided, uh, gave him a couple options. The easiest option is milk paint. Uh, so uh, I started sanding uh, today, and I'm going to leave all this hard work and detail work for Rick Bailey to sand. Because that's the kind of guy I am. And so Rick is going to paint it with milk paint. The nice thing about milk paint is, and Anytime you're refinishing something, you need to clean it. So you need to clean it. TSP is a good product to clean with. TSP and a Scotts Brite, clean it up. Um, you use some hot water, wipe it down, let it dry, and it'll get all that grime and grease off. And then you go about sanding, whether or not you want to stain it or paint it. Painting it is easier because you just need to scuff up the surface to paint it. And we're again going to use milk paint. Again, let me tell you this. Not all milk paint is created equal. Those of you that know me know that uh, and follow my woodworking channel know that I like certain products. And, and the reason why is because I work with them every day and uh, I, I know them. And I know them to hold up and last. Uh, I have projects out there that are... 12 years old that are milk paint and they're still looking like the day that I dropped them off to my customers and I see some of these products still I st still see some of these projects so uh, I'm confident with them General Finishes makes great milk paint not all milk paint is created equal don't go to the big box store and buy milk paint uh, you'll find that it's uh, just not as durable. Uh, the General Finishes product uh, is uh, pretty much one, two coats, depends on your color that you're covering up. Uh, it goes a long way. It's very durable. Again, it's a, it's a matte finish, so it needs some protection. Either a polyurethane or wax. If you go to wax, wax root, I'm covering a lot here. So if you go the rack, wax route, you can't go back and apply a polyurethane to it. 
So, polyurethane, some type of urethane, water-based, not an oil-based, is pretty much going to be your safe bet to cover the piece. <sighs> that was a mouthful. So, follow this series along. I don't know how many parts it's going to be. I am going to, again, build the drawer system, build the deck, and I'm going to get Rick to help me and uh, show him some things. Maybe he'll build the drawer. I'll show him how to do that. And uh, he's going to paint it. I'm not going to paint it. And uh, maybe I'll help him lay track and do some other things. I don't know, depending on our schedules. And, but for the most part, I'm going to get Rick going. And then he'll take it from there. But he'll be here real soon. So subscribe, follow along, and see what we do with this coffee table, turning it into an in-scale layout. Oh, by the way, it has on the top there two glass shelves, or two glass pieces that you'll be able to view in and view down to the layout. This will all be open too. There's not going to be any enclosure or anything. So you'll get a good view of the whole layout. It'll be cool. You can find these probably at the Goodwill and uh, on the curb in people's trash of all different conditions and sizes. Find a good one, fix it up, and build yourself a layout. Until the next time, see you in part two, part three, and part 20. <laughs> be well, be blessed. Until the next time, see you.